to be corrected jason and i enjoy learning things it, it... Yeah! oh can you believe that shit team kawasaki is thanking me <laughs> they are thanking me for making their retard map better and for pointing them out for the flaws in the map like missing parts and educate them on the coordinate system. Let's hear what you got to say. This is a recent hit piece by Q1Fi against me that shows what lengths he will go to to attempt to find a hole in the stereographic virtual reality model we are sharing. It's not so difficult to find holes in your map. Fortunately, each time he tries, he increases our level of understanding and our ability to depict it. Here is from his new hit piece. So each time I try, it increases your level of understanding because I point you out on the flaws. <laughs> oh, 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 these lie clowns never stop. These two uh, keep lying and lying and lying leave in the Bible and from what I've heard you're a Christian pastor so my first question to you is how do you support heliocentrism biblically I've never said I support heliocentrism what do you support uh, I have not looked into the heliocentric centrism versus geocentrism debate so I don't have a position on it oh he did not look into the flat earth globe earth debate Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you nitpicking? I don't use words like geocentrism, flat or globe, piece of shit. There's globe and flat, that's it. Notice that Will Duffy was caught lying because I interviewed him. Then you should have pointed him out during your interview, idiot. I asked Will Duffy as many hard questions as I could so that we could catch him in as many lies as possible. But you didn't catch him lying on this one, idiot. Where's your thank you cue for me getting Duffy to answer this question? <laughs> so I need to thank you for asking these questions on this uh, club thought. <laughs> Get lost, idiot. You spend three minutes showing Will Duffy to be a liar, which is great. Oh, now you think it's great. You don't think it's so great when I point out your lies with your retard map? Jesus Christ. But once again, only possible because of the question I asked him. And then you go on to think that you got one on us again, while you were the one that led to having a way to having a tool to make you look like a ball earth gatekeeper. I look like a ball earth gatekeeper. <laughs> Ball Earth Gatekeeper, you say? Huh. Then I should delete all my uh, anti globe videos. This one. This one. Uh, this one. This one. This one. Oh, the Moonhawks video and the retro reflectors. Not one single fucking global debunked it, piece of shit. Oh look, videos about your friend, Yerenism. Ah oh, here, a video about Eratosthenes. So you want me uh, to delete all those videos? These anti globe videos? I have tons of them. Everything that comes out of your mouth is a straw man. There's globe and flat, that's it. The stereographic virtual reality um, explained, right? It's a video that's underneath an hour that actually explains the entire working map and model. No, 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 no. You know that a working map and model, 
because some parts were missing. You remember? <laughs> Another model that's existed for the last seven years that's accurate to a hundredth of a degree per second. The most accurate stereographic map, right? but we can't prove we have the most accurate one. All we can do is prove the most accurate stereographic map and uh, it's the most accurate map of earth and um you could navigate by it this is the most accurate two-dimensional flat representation of our earth this is the only map that we can actually measure the sun's movements and the heavenly bodies moving across and around the face of this map the most accurate the most accurate map the most accurate representation of the earth the most accurate land mass map the most accurate map no we're confident that it's the best projection map or projection it's a coordinate system one would expect to find an actual map of earth that is not a projection so when we brought the map out we said this is the most accurate map that we were able to find it's a stereographic map the perfectly least distorted flat map this is the most accurate landmass that was ever created that means that there is a flat map that is the true accurate map of the world. An oblique mercator is the most accurate stereographic map of a flat earth that was not produced by us. This is the most accurate map of earth. All right, so we have, we have literally the most accurate models. Remember, I pointed you out on your incomplete map last week and for seven years, you called it the most accurate map? Another model that's existed for the last seven years that's accurate to a hundredth of a degree per second. And now you're finally going to admit your map is wrong? And we can back out as far as we possibly can. Yeah, that is something you could not do on your map because this part was missing. And you will see that there is no place you can get to on Sunco. I tried to go to this location on your map, but uh, I could not find it. <laughs> we are going to make a list of all of our models. Oh, you are going to make a list of all your models. Do you have more than one model? Do you kept them hidden for seven years? <laughs> not that we made them or we own them. Hold on. You just say our models. We are going to make a list of all of our models, but that they represent the model of reality we say is true. Programs like this, they count on people being too stupid. It looks more like you are the stupid one. Not noticing this island was missing for seven years. <laughs> what a moron. On the small island, on the 54 latitude south, three degrees east. And we want to do some celestial navigation because yeah, we are in the middle of the ocean. We want to know uh, where we are. So we take an observation to the sun and measure the altitude. Oh. 54 latitude south is not here. I cannot see it. There is a whole piece of map missing. <laughs> if you give us your coordinates, we can tell you the exact elevation angles to the sun. Hey, awake souls. How do you travel from anywhere on the map to the 54 latitude south on the third longitude east? That should be uh, here somewhere, at least. With the most precision, this was the most precise map or coordinate system that was ever created. It wasn't Jason and I that made it. The idea that Q is coming after us for missing parts of the stereographic coordinate system we've been sharing the last seven years seems a little too crazy to be true. No, it's not crazy. It's really true. And I pointed out to the people 
And anyone can verify. <laughs> when you consider that he is the one that led us to finding the stereographic coordinate system generator we are using now. Maybe I let you into another trap again. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> Q showed everyone what we had to do to come up with the best stereographic representation of Earth that we could at the time with the resources and tools we had available. There is no special tools needed to see if a map is complete. You had seven years to do this simple observation. There were very few stereographic coordinate systems of Earth available. Idiot, you had no clue. It was missing. And if you knew it was missing, you posted an incomplete map, deliberate, and call it the most accurate map in the world. You are demented. Jeez. And the ones that were available were set to odd orientations to make them confusing. We said the image is trimmed and incomplete, but was the best we had available. You hear that people, they cut up this map and made it incomplete and turn it into this crap and call it the most accurate map. Let's talk about maps then. The creators of this map say that it is the most accurate map of Earth while still suggesting that there may be distortion. But we maintain that Earth is flat, therefore there should be no distortions. And that if there's distortions that they've pushed that out to the water. Bleak Mercator Stereographic Map Most accurate map ever created. They literally tell you in the website that we got it from. This is the most accurate landmass that was ever created. It's not me saying that. It was the creators and cartographers that made this. Okay, Jason and I didn't invent it. The map conforms to known landmass sizes, shapes, positions, and distances between. The stereographic lines of latitude and longitude eliminate the need for a compass declination map. This is explained by Antarctica being divided in two better than by Antarctica being a single landmass at the bottom of a globe and show how dead reckoning direct routes is achieved without the use of room lines. Note how standard compass declination maps flip from east to west in Antarctica. Direct flight paths plotted on this map become great circle routes when this map is projected to a sphere. There has to be a flat map that has all the land sizes, orientations, and positions that match what can be plotted by the use of latitude and longitude. This map presented conforms to all of these. Let's talk about maps then. This one here is the most accurate and it's a coordinate system. It's not exactly. actual map or projection it's a coordinate system so you measure off of the lines of latitude and longitude with a compass and you can actually navigate through dead reckoning now because of you we have this that's nothing new a lot of people become wiser because they tell them stuff they show them stuff it is because of q giving us the latitude and longitude calculator we had lost that we ended up finding this stereographic coordinate system generator that Ronnie was able to say what he said with such authority. With this stereographic coordinate system generator, we are able to change our center point of focus. And? What's the point of this? I don't understand it. And there is no more missing coordinate system in the stereographic virtual reality model. But this is not your stereographic map, idiot. I want to point out the different options we have available for projecting the latitude and longitude coordinate system. In my last video response to Q, I clearly pointed out that the lines of latitude get shorter the farther south you go from the equator until it is zero at the poles. This right here is irrational because it does not show the lines of latitude get shorter at the two poles. To see that, you have to click to center it somewhere. Now, what we have is the most accurate stereographic coordinate system to date that is centered in the same orientation as the way we've been sharing it. So, from now on, you're going to use this map and treasure the old fabricated map with the missing parts. Map or projection, it's a coordinate system. So you measure off of the lines of latitude and longitude with a compass. Hold on. The latitude and longitude lines are just fair to align. How do you measure that with your compass? So you measure off of the lines of latitude and longitude with a compass. So, 
I removed a latitude and longitude lines, which uh, represents a little bit more uh, reality, because in reality, we don't see those uh, lines. So here is my uh, compass pointing south. So normally, when you want to travel to the North Pole, from the South Pole, you have to travel north. But here, uh, you have to travel in a different direction. <laughs> And if we are here on the prime meridian and we want to travel to the south pole, we have to travel south of course. But then we end up on the other side without ever seeing Antarctica. <laughs> and you can actually navigate through dead reckoning. Good luck navigating on this map with your uh, tiny uh, compass. Do you understand this not work? And I wonder how you two retards are going to warm yourself out of this one again. Because you keep strawmanning me and strawmanning me like you did for the last seven years. Comes Q, and we're like, okay, we check it out. Why talk about me, piece of shit? Here, take this. And you too, piece of shit? Here. Bye bye, piece of shit. Bye. Pop a bit more.